आई एम पासिंग लेस यूरिन इज वॉट द पेशेंट टेल्स ए नेफ्रोलॉजिस्ट किडनी डॉक्टर नाउ देर कैन बी टू डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ दिस फर्स्ट इज द स्ट्रक्चरल प्रॉब्लम एंड सेकेंड इज द फंक्शनल प्रॉब्लम नाउ इन स्ट्रक्चरल प्रॉब्लम देर कैन बी अ इम्पिडेंट्स देर कैन बी अ प्रॉब्लम और चोकअप टू द फ्लो आउटसाइड गोइंग ऑफ द यूरिन सो इन दिस वी विल हैव समथिंग लाइक द प्रोस्टेट इन लार्जिंग इन अ मैन और देर कैन बी अ यूरेथ्रल स्ट्रिक्चर दैट इज अ चोकअप ऑफ द यूरिन पाइप इन अ मैन और इन अ वुमन ऑल्सो एंड फाइनली वी मे बी हैविंग समथिंग लाइक अ डिस्टोनिक ए टोनिक ब्लैडर द यूरिनरी ब्लैडर इज नॉट एबल टू पुश आउट द यूरिन बिकॉज इट इज नॉट हैविंग स्ट्रेंथ बिकॉज ऑफ पॉसिबली डायबिटिक सिस्टोपैथी और अ न्यूरोलॉजिकल स्पाइनल और ब्रेन प्रॉब्लम सो इन सच केसेज द यूरिन रिमेन्स स्टक अप इन साइड एंड डज नॉट कम आउट सो दिस वुड बी द कॉमनेस्ट कॉजेज ऑफ अ स्ट्रक्चरल प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द पुअर फ्लो ऑफ यूरिन कमिंग आउट सो द वॉल्यूम ऑफ यूरिन फॉर्म इन द बॉडी इज गुड बट द फ्लो इज स्लो और इंटरमीडियंट ड्रॉप बाय ड्रॉप or not at all that is a complete retention of urine that may be the cause for which the patient says i am not have able to pass out urine the second is the functional part of course that comes from the kidney because the glomeruli they filter the blood to form the ultra filtrate which is processed to form the urine and usually around 1.5 liters of urine to around 2.5 liters of urine is passed daily by every person whether a man or a woman now if the kidney function is less then the production of urine falls and the volume of urine falls so that is called as oliguria if it is around 500 ml of urine or less and absolute anuria if there is a zero drop of urine being formed usually zero drop of urine being formed is life incompatible the person usually dies but then usually we see oliguria the commonest cause of course would be dehydration that your intake of water is much lesser than what it should be because of hot weather or you are not having access to water or you are sick you are vomiting or having diarrhea even though you are taking in fluid it is not being retained by the body so that would be the commonest cause of pre renal acute kidney injury and in this cases if you give a proper hydration either by oral or by intravenous route then the urine output immediately improves the second would be a renal cause that is there is some problem with the functioning of the glomeruli or the tubules of the kidney in this cases there can be diseases of the kidney itself or there can be reactions to various infections or the management of infections like medicines or drugs more commoner would be the infection themselves affecting the kidney and in such cases once you manage the problems of the diseases or the remove the offending drugs rarely then the kidney may recover very slowly in such cases we will have a gradual improvement of the urine output later on so whenever a person tells me a nephrologist that the urine flow is less we have to be very specific to ask him that whether it is with the volume of the urine or the flow pattern of the urine so that leads us to a urological issue or a nephrological issue so that differentiation is very important in our history taking and later on a sonography will tell us more details about what is required later on a biopsy may be required if indicated so this is how we will go about step by step in assessing this problem thank you